when you talk about lithium batteries is you want to make sure it has what's called an internal BMS or battery management system. And when lithium batteries first came out, it was literally just the batteries and you needed all this special charging equipment to make sure that, you know, like a DC to DC converter and all this other kind mm -hmm. of stuff to make sure that you didn't overcharge the battery. Because I mean, just look on YouTube, there's lithium batteries burning down boats left and right, not to yeah. mention like cars and stuff. Uh, but the internal battery monitoring system, I didn't need to change any of my charging equipment. It was literally just plug and play because the battery management system controls the charge. And when it gets up to a sufficient level, it slows down the charge rate and then it just refuses to accept the charge anymore. So you can't burn out the battery. It, it's, it's fully congruent with all your uh, charging equipment. I did mention though, it will give your alternator a workout. So you can see at the bottom right, you've got your uh, three stages, bulk absorption and float. And bulk is when it's just absorbing as much energy as it can. But the way a normal battery works is once you hit a certain volt, it's like 14.1, depends on the battery, but it's over 14 volts. The battery will start accepting a less and less of a rate of a charge. And that's because it's getting fuller and fuller. Uh, so it, it gives your alternator a break because it's no longer going at full capacity and it winds it down gently. The way the lithiums work is it's beautiful because the bulk lasts so much longer. The problem with that is that your battery, your alternator is running at 60 amps or whatever its rating is for like a much longer time. I sort of look at that as both a good and a bad thing.